For the starters, number one is Indy Cruiser, owned by Brett and Lynn Wilfong of Illinois and Indiana, trained by Brett Wilfong, Neil Coleman in the bike. Number two is Holly's Queen. Holly's Queen is owned by Gary Williams of Milan, Illinois, and trained by Guy Calvert. Chad Swenson on number two, Holly's Queen. Make the driver Chad Swenson on number two. Number three, Ms. Fighting Major is owned by Shirley and Arthur Levin of Hoffman Estates, trained by Homer Hochstetler, Dean McGee in the bike. Number four, JC's first, owned by Stalker, Davis, Matthias, and Doherty, trained by Leroy Moyer. Andy Miller is up. Number five, Raffinelli, owned by Steinbrenner Racing Stable and Ciara Stable, trained by Tom Harmer, the driver, Dave McGee. Number six, Mighty Zena, owned by Mike Tagg of Champaign, Bill Alanya, the trainer driver. Number seven, Giggles the Clown, owned by Mary and Bob Gangloff and by Ryan Welch, trained by Roger Welch, Dale Heitman is the driver. Number eight is Scratch, number nine is Fox Valley Image, owned by Fox Valley Standard Breads of Sherman, Tony Alanya trains and drives. This is another trifecta race, four minutes, four minutes to vote. This the final elimination for pacing Phillies, here they come. They're off and pacing. Ms. Fighting Major and Holly's Queen come out as a team to battle for the early advantage. Indy Cruiser now sneaks up the inside and moves past both of them at the entry to the first turn. Indy Cruiser leading Holly's Queen by just over a length. Ms. Fighting Major ducks over against the rail in third. And now there goes Giggles the Clown moving up into the second position. And Giggles the Clown is now making a bid for the lead as they move by the quarter. Giggles the Clown was at that mark in 27 seconds and makes the top now clear by just over a length. Indy Cruiser second by the same margin. Holly's Queen is third by two. Then Ms. Fighting Major fourth by over three lengths, followed by Raffinelli, who's in the fifth position. A gap of seven more back to Mighty Zena inside of JC's first, and Fox Valley Image is trailing the field as they move by the half. Giggles the Clown is on top by a length, the half in fifth five and two fifth seconds. Indy Cruiser is second off a quick front half. Holly's Queen is third. Now Ms. Fighting Major is gearing up on the outside, followed by Raffinelli. Ms. Fighting Major up alongside of Giggles the Clown. They're separated by a neck as they contest the lead as Raffinelli is one length away in third on the outside of Indy Cruiser, who is now fourth. Then a gap of three more to Fox Valley Image. They're at the three-quarter. Giggles the Clown and Ms. Fighting Major move past that mark together in 126 and four. Raffinelli still three lengths away in third, just outside of Indy Cruiser, and they're moving by the eighth pole now. Giggles the Clown is determined and opens back up by three lengths. Miss Fighting Major is put to a drive, but she's second, and Raffinelli is racing in third. Coming to the line, Giggles the Clown wins it by four. It was Miss Fighting Major second, and Raffinelli was third in 155 and two. 7-3 exact of $5.80. The 735 trifecta, $22.20. Into the winner's circle now with his second straight winner on the card. Once again, driver Dale Heitman, this time with Giggles the Clown. This winning two-year-old filly is by Sportsmaster, owned by Mary and Robert Gangloff, and by Ryan Welch of Indiana and Illinois. Trained by Roger Welch. This filly bred by the gang lofts. The dam is fancy clown by incredible finale. 155 and two, a new lifetime record and lifetime win number four for Giggles the Clown. Check in with Ed Teefee. Now, Kurt, I have the owner, or one of the owners of Giggles the Clown, actually both of them, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Robert Gangloff, Nice filly, Mr. Glangloff. Yes, it's nice being here. <laughs> and the mile was in 55 and 2, a last quarter in 28 and 3. Uh, she's going to be one of the tough contenders, but this is a very tough division with Bootsy, Incredible Tilly, and K Macaroni. It's going to be tough. 
<laughs> well, good luck next Thursday in the final.